When humanity is on the brink of destruction, these guys step up to the challenge. Wait a minute! I said wait! Welcome to Watch Mojo's Anime Duel series, where we pit some of the strongest characters in anime history and weigh out their odds in a battle together. <laughs> For today's fight, we're focusing on two of the angriest characters around, Berserk's Guts and Attack on Titan's Eren Jaeger. Whatever happens, don't get yourself killed. I had planned on it, thanks. Just as a side note, we're focusing on how far their respective anime have reached, so we're not counting Guts' Berserk armor or Eren's <coughs> powers that have appeared in the manga, simply to avoid any spoilers. I... all of you... everything! Number one, strength and endurance. Gah! There are few that can boast strength comparable to the Black Swordsman Guts. His weight training, thanks in part to swinging an absurdly large chunk of metal, has left him with a physique that puts Eren to shame. 199! 200! What's more, he can cut through enemies with relative ease. How many, you ask? Try 100 in a single battle. This is a testament not only to his strength, but also his sheer endurance. I mean, few can walk away from getting torn apart by a crew of demons. Eren, on the other hand, is kind of dainty. Still, it's impressive that he's able to cut through the tough hive of a titan's neck, but then again, it's also his sword that's doing that. Take this! In terms of raw strength, Eren doesn't seem to exhibit anything exemplary, so we're gonna have to stick with the big guy for this one. This isn't hell! Oh crap! Winner, Guts. Come on, let's fight! I need it. I have to fight until the voices stop. Round two, allies. Everyone give a shout for victory! <laughs> There's no denying the prestige of the Band of the Hawk. Starting from humble roots, this team of mercenaries worked diligently against the odds until they could serve amongst royals. Great! I've never seen a crowd so enthusiastic at a victory parade before. The dream team of Griffith, Casca, and Judo have taken down countless armies in their warpath. Although they didn't fare so well against the demonic beings during the eclipse thanks to a certain son of a bitch, you would be hard pressed to find anyone with tactical expertise on their level. The unit assigned to Griffith's rescue will depart now! Let's go, boss. Unless, of course, you turn to the Survey Corps. Sure, they are stacked with a plethora of cannon fodder that get chomped by the villainous titans with ease, but some of their additions are stellar. Levi Ackerman, who could arguably serve as a challenge for Guts alone, possesses incredible strength and speed. Teamed up with the likes of Mikasa, Jean, Hanji, and even Armin, and you have a well-rounded unit capable of taking anything down. The Band of the Hawk may have incredible teamwork, but these highly skilled soldiers could just tip the scales. Winner, Eren. Round three, intelligence and cunning. I'll make a hole in your chest as big as this one when I win. This one's a little more difficult. Both Guts and Eren are by no means unintelligent, but their weakness lies in their recklessness. <laughs> Having both been affected by extremely traumatic circumstances, both of these protagonists are often prone to falling into blind rage. This can work as both a blessing and a curse, being their driving force in combat. <laughs> Out of the two, Guts seems to have worked on his temperament far better, leading him to be the composed tactician that he is in battle. A contained frenzy, if you will. I can sense no anger from him. No rage. No fear. Whereas Eren relies on brute force and has made some pretty bad rookie mistakes, like getting eaten. For this category, we gotta stick with Guts. Winner, Guts. Whoa. Whoa. Ah! <laughs> Pardon me. Round four, weapons and powers. As a child, Guts opted to wield a weapon that would take down foes far bigger than him. The result, being able to cut through enemies with one wild swing. His means of doing so is the Dragon Slayer Sword, forged by blacksmith Godo after the Eclipse Battle. Don't get yourself killed. He also turned his weakness into strength, replacing his stump with a mechanical arm capable of shooting arrows and a mean explosion. Needless to say, Guts is decked out to the teeth. 
Who goes there? But that's not to say that Aaron lags behind in this regard. Like the other members of the Corps, Aaron uses the tactical maneuvering gear, allowing him to zip along and cut Titans to ribbons. You think you can do that? If you can, then we're with you. All the way. The main worry here is whether this would make just an extremely speedy target for the Black Swordsman. So maybe if this were all that Aaron had in the chamber, things would look pretty bleak. Luckily for him, there's one trump card that could turn the tide. The Titan Transformation. <laughs> Sure, Guts has taken on apostles of all shapes and sizes, but none as brutal or as gargantuan as Aaron's titan form. For this purpose alone, we gotta give this round to the wild card. Winner, Aaron. <laughs> round 5, Experience. Ah, splendid. I'm glad you're alive. I'm glad to see you too. You look well. Experience really is the deciding factor in this one, and both heroes have had their fair share. Raised by the disgraced mercenary Gambino, Guts had to learn the harsh reality of war from a very tender age. You should have died. You killed her! Uh. But it was not until he joined the Band of the Hawk that Guts really cut his teeth. In battle, there's only one way you should be using your mouth! His experiences in innumerable battles alongside this faction even allowed him to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with apostles, far stronger than himself. Guts has seen hell and walked out alive. On the other hand, while Aaron's training has come early in his life, he's simply too green right now to compete with a veteran like Guts. We've seen him routinely make mistakes in his attempts to become a respected member of the Survey Corps, in and out of battle. Although he seems to have some control over his actions, it seems that Aaron still hasn't been in his Titan form long enough to fully grasp his power. It seemed to understand the skill of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Given that Guts has faced beastly monsters in the past, his experience here could allow him to exploit Aaron's glaring weaknesses. Aaron! Leave him! We can't do anything until we take care of her! Winner, Guts. So that's the final bell. We can't deny the absurd power, agility, and cunning of the toughest SOB in anime. Your winner is Guts. But no worries, Aaron, you still got time to catch up. Think we're wrong? If you're just gonna sit around all day and complain, then I'm leaving. Let us know in the comments below. And for more rage induced one on ones, be sure to subscribe to Watch Mojo. I want to see everything through to its conclusion. That's why I came here tonight to finish it.